This is a patient who has a very pronounced vitreous floater, which we call a Weiss ring. Again, the vitreous is the jelly in the back of the eye. This is the optic nerve, the macula, and you can see this very large floater is floating very close to the macula, which gives us our very best vision. This can be very disruptive to the patient. It can interfere with driving and reading and working on the computer. Sometimes we, we are able to laser this, which is done um, as a pretty simple outpatient procedure, but other times we do vitrectomy and actually remove it with surgery. The first disease I wanted to show you is a patient who has diabetic retinopathy. And what I also wanna demonstrate is our beautiful imaging using the Optos uh, camera. And this gives us a wide field picture of the retina and allows us to look way out in the periphery to look for disease out there. And here again, this is the front of the eyes. We're looking through the lens, through the iris, to the back, to the retina. And what's interesting about this patient is you can see the proliferative diabetic retinopathy that lights up with the fluorescein dye that has been injected into the patient's arm. And this allows us to very clearly delineate the disease process and to start treatment. This is a patient who has a central retinal vein occlusion. And unfortunately, the eye is not designed all that well in that all the blood drains out of the central retinal vein, which is located right here. Sometimes we can get a thrombus in that area, which occludes the vessel. And when that happens, the blood back, backs up into the eye, as you can see here. It almost looks like someone scattered ketchup all over the retina. These patients do need laser photocoagulation, and sometimes we do a peripheral laser to reduce ischemia, and sometimes we do a central laser to reduce edema.